I just got an I miss you text, or not text, and I miss you message from a previous friend. I haven't really checked the message. I saw it in my message requests in Facebook, on Facebook. And if I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm going to check the message. Um, because I don't want to say I rolled my eyes, but I was like, what? What? Like, you dropped me like a hot rock years ago. It's been years. And maybe the pandemonium got people rethinking their lives. Let me get y'all set up. Y'all know I just got this camera, so I don't know how to use it. Ooh, I'm cute. Hello. Um, maybe the pandemonium got people rethinking their lives. But um, this is a common occurrence for me. As in romantic. I got a romantic call. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm supposed to be being serious. Focus, Rashni. And platonic. So friendships and in my romantic relationships, it is very common for the relationship to end for XYZ reason, that person to go about their business, and then years later, here they come talking about I miss you. Here they come talking about, oops, I made a mistake. Here they come. And you guys, this has been happening to me since I was a teenager. And I am 45 years old right now. So it has been happening the majority of my life to the point that <clears throat> One of my closest friends, who was my best friend, asked me, why do people, why do you have this happen to you all the time? It happens to you so much. And she was like, nobody ever comes back in my life. Like my exes, when they leave, they leave. I never hear from them again. My friends, when they leave, they leave. I never hear from them again. What is going on with you that people always come back like a boomerang? To which I told her, I was like, that's because I create relationships of depth. And I don't think that you do. Just don't ask me questions when you don't want the answer. Ironically, that very same friend a few years ago kind of did the same thing to me. Had a meltdown, went off on me on the phone, dropped me like a hot rock and stopped talking to me for six months. This person was literally like my sister, like my bestest bestest. Okay, like one of the closest people, if not the closest person to me on the planet, disappeared on me for six months. And then what did they do? Come back talking about oops. Girl, I'm girl. What I do? So anyway, <laughs> like, are, do you guys have this happen to you? It's it's insanity to me. But this is what I've learned. So I posted about it in the Find Your Light group. If you're not in the Find Your Light group, what are you doing with your life? Okay, it's my coaching group. I haven't been posting in it often recently because um, virtual school got me out here. But I posted in the group about this exact same thing and I got a lot of really good responses. I, I even asked people, does this happen to them often? And so some people said it does happen, block and delete, people come back, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this one person, I'm gonna read two things. One person posted a meme and it says, it took me a whole year to understand this. Sometimes a person doesn't even love you for real. They just know you're a good person and they would, would hate to see you loving another the way you love them. Happiness over history. Let that toxic ish go. Hello? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Let me go ahead and save that so I could put that in the video for y'all. Okay, but this is what I posted. And then I want to know if you guys have this happening to you a lot. And what do you guys think about these people? Oh, this behavior, okay? Because back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I do wish I was a sit and wish I was a kid again. Don't make me mess up the lyrics. I don't know who I'm talking to because I know lyrics. Anyway, <laughs> focus, Rashmi. Back in the day, I used to think of this as a positive thing. I used to think I was such a great human that people weren't ready for me yet. That's what I used to think. And so they would, you know, they would excuse themselves from my life. <laughs> and then when they went out into the world and the world got to chomping at them and they realized that ain't nobody doing it like Rushney. Hello? And I'm not talking about nothing nasty. I'm just talking about like, I'm a good human. I'm a good in relationships. I treat you well, okay? And um, they go out, they realize what is this going on out here in these streets and they come back, okay? That's what I used to think. Now this is what I think. I'll just read you what I wrote. I learned in therapy that my picker isn't broken, but I lacked boundaries. 
parentheses fences. So let's call boundaries fences, like you put up a fence. And didn't have enough criteria for access. So if boundaries are fences in my world, access is gates, like a gate to let people in and out of the boundary space, right? I think that may be part of this issue. I was letting everybody and their grandmama's barber's tax attorney wander in. Good people, thank God. That was one of the most powerful things I learned in therapy. I, I also let good people in. So it's not like I don't know how to do this. I just was letting everybody in. There was no criteria for access, okay? And bad people or people with bad behaviors because, you know, what's a bad person, right? They just as easily wandered out. Hurt me in the process. So much hurt learning this lesson. Sheesh. And seem to always want to wander back up in this joint when they realize that they had it good over here in the first place. Okay, which is pretty much what I've thought my entire life. But this is the growth, okay? Unfortunately for them, fortunately for moi, I got me some boundaries and criteria now and well. No boo, you stay outside and you find you another. Be best. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I... I have responded to people when they hit me with I miss you messages um, or not. Nah. Often I don't respond to them, especially if they are romantic partners from my past and they have reached out to me while I was married. Clearly, I'm not responding to you, okay? I had one ex from high school who is so persistent. This person is so persistent. I have blocked them on all the platforms. They have... Um, used other people's platforms to try to reach out to me and one time when i was in florida when my father was ill i did some instagram stories i guess back then i don't know something instagram stories and saved them to my phone because i don't typically post in real time because i don't want people to know i'm there like right then um, and then when i was leaving the beach that we were at i posted them and put where i was and while i was driving away this man was in my inbox talking about are you there right now i'll come no No, sir, I am married, okay? Anyway, so I don't reach out to them and I'm not gonna reach out to this person because it's not that they're a bad person. This was also a person who I considered to be a very, very close friend and our friendship ended for something that made no sense to me. It made no sense to me. I'm talking about it made zero sense. And when I tried to talk to them about it because I reached out to them one time and we try, I tried to talk to them about it, they were very... Um, it didn't pan out. Let's just put it that way. Cause I'm not going to say anything bad about somebody who I loved and cared about. Right. But I, I don't have time to spend my life with people who ain't got no maturity. I'm 45 years old. Okay. And the way that my life is set up, I need you to have some growth mindedness. I need you to have some emotional regulation. I need you to be working on your communication skills. I need you to, yeah, I need you to be on the growth path with me. And if you're not, Hit me with a I miss you just because for some reason Mercury's in retrograde or something and you are here feeling some kind of way because of the planetarium. I'm not your girl anymore. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know if this happens to you all. Um, it keeps happening to me. Let me tell you something. I, I saw that message today and I was like, that must be a mistake. And then when I got on the browser, because I think I saw it on my phone at first, I was like, oh no, that they are there in my inbox with the message request. And I was like, what? And I was like, this just keep happening, Jesus. It keeps happening to me. Anyway, be well, be encouraged. Let me know if this happens to you below. Here's a pineapple, y'all. <laughs>